Spiritfarer is basically like Animal Crossing except the animals are dead. Really though, it's a relaxing crafting and sim game that is the perfect way to kill all this time at home we all suddenly have. You can cook, fish, build, hug, mine, play music, farm, and fairy spirits oh. into the afterlife. Hmm. And look, if you have no friends to play Among Us with, you can always just make yeah. animal friends. Except they die and leave me all alone! You play as Stella and I guess her cat Daffodil, a fairy master who befriends and cares for spirits before releasing them into the afterlife. I avoided this game for a while because I don't need to add existentialism to my list of worries right now, but the game is worth it. So, as I said earlier, you're a caretaker to these spirits or animals, which means you'll be feeding them, building them houses, and running errands for them. As the game goes on, you learn more about each spirit, and you kind of grow attached to them. You start to learn how they're related to Stella, and what their life was like before they became a spirit. Ultimately, you just keep them happy until they're ready to pass on into the afterlife. Or stars or something. I thought this was the afterlife. Each animal has their own favorite foods, likes and dislikes, and they have all these cute little stories. And this little hedgehog grandma is breaking my heart because she likes to cook food for him. You'll be feeling all the feels in this game. So, mm. I don't know, have a tissue box ready. This game is serene and relaxing, but never dull. You start off by taking over Sharon's job as the fairy master in this really gorgeous environment, and then you drop onto a boat. Aside from taking care of the animals, your job is to upgrade the boat through crafting. In most crafting games, you press a button and bim bam boom, you got a fishing rod. In Spiritfarer, you have to play these sort of mini games to optimize the craft for materials, and the better you do in these mini games, the more resources you get. They're all pretty simple, but it still requires some focus. The crafting system also encourages a bit of experimenting, especially with cooking. You can discover new recipes for food in bottles or treasure maps, or just throw random things in the oven and see what happens. And you're free to craft and harvest and do anything while your ship sails to different islands. You can gather materials and meet new spirits by sailing off to new islands. It's nice being able to feel like I'm traveling to other places and cutting down their natural resources and exploring the world. The background art is really nice, the music is really nice, it's just really fun to explore all these different islands. Mm -hmm. As you unlock more buildings to build on your boat, your boat ends up looking like a freaking Kowloon walled city. The cool thing is, your boat eventually becomes its own platforming level as you have to collect resources on the ship. Eventually, you can optimize how you go through your boat with zip lines and other platforming tools. Overall, I recommend this game if you like aminals, casual management, and building. The story is sweet and the music is very relaxing. The dialogue is actually pretty funny, and the animals have all become my friends, and I'm just gonna hug them forever and they can never ever leave. There's not really any customization in this game, you only get to choose the colorway of Stella and Daffodil. Also, sometimes the platforming can be kind of wonky. It's hard to tell what you can stand on and what you can't, so I ended up falling a lot. I give it 3.8 hugs out of 5. Hey, I'm so sorry for being away for so I'm so sorry for being away for so long. I was working on a couple Animal Crossing covers and my garage band was just not working for me. But thank you. Your support means so much to me. It's so nice to read these comments where people want to see my videos and stuff. So, I'll try really hard to make it for Pizza Wednesday, I promise. Also, a lot of people are really upset with me bullying Quilson. I promise he's doing fine. I'm not bonking him anymore. I'm not sending him any mean letters. I, I Maybe I took the bullying too far. You know, people like Quilson, so I'll lay off.